Hi guys, this is Jodora with a tutorial on how to retouch your screenshots. What I'm going to be using today is Photoshop CS5 and a drawing tablet. So the first thing you're going to do is make a layer and color it black. It's going to be the back, the background. You do that by choosing this tool, the paint bucket tool, then choose your color and basically just click the layer and it turns black. So then you open your screenshot, make a new layer and open your screenshot and make a duplicate of that layer. You're going to do that by clicking, right clicking the layer, then duplicate layer and what I like to do is erasing the background from the character so that you only have the character left by the time you're done. So you want to choose a hard brush and start deleting oh yeah, you use the eraser tool of course and then you choose the, the brush you want to use. I'm using a hard brush and you go ahead and make all the layers you don't need invisible. You're going to do that by clicking this eye. So it makes it invisible or visible. So you're going to grab the the layer that you just copied and made a copy of the first layer and start erasing all the all what's left in the background. So you're going to do that la 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 takes a while I already did that to save us some time because it took me probably like 15 minutes to do that and um, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this layer and what's left what is left is going to be this so you want to make sure that you have all the edges nice and neat since we want it to look good so the next thing you're going to do is make the layer you're not working on invisible, which would be this one and this one if you like. So to work on this layer on our original screenshot, we're going to click on the first layer and then I'm going to choose the blur tool, which is this drop looking thing and choose a soft brush. The strength is going to be a hundred. So I'm going to start making the sky, I guess, and some of the trees back here blurry. want to be careful to not suddenly start blurring something you didn't want to blur in the first first place it doesn't really matter that you're going over your character because we already cut it out so everything related to the character is safe it won't blur and I think yeah that looks about right this is pretty far away too so we make it blurry too okay so you basically want to make sure everything that's really far away from your character is blurred the hell out Okay, so now I'm going to change the strength from 100 to about, let's say, 10. And start blowing whatever is closer to the character. Like this tree, for example.
So then I'm gonna choose the blur brush blur tool again with just one percent strength and start blurring whatever is closer to our character. But we don't want to make it too blurry. Just a tiny bit. Okay, maybe a little bit more than that. Something like that. Okay, so it should uh, look something like that. And then you go ahead and make the character you cut out visible. So the next thing I do is choose a color, a warm color for example the one up here in the clouds and take a soft brush make it quite big create a new layer and then start highlighting whatever is already bright in color the places where you can tell the sun is hitting. So that would be up here. A bit up here. And there. The back of her hand. Maybe somewhat the ears. And that's pretty much it already. maybe the chest a tiny bit so then here are basically the blending options of your layer so this is the layer we just drew on then you take let's see The overlay option looks quite good, so that's what you're going to take. Here's a drop down. You go to overlay and your layer is going to be a different blending mode. So you make a new layer and I'm going to name this real quick. So now you're going to take a darker color for example one that's right about here on our shirt make it darker or brighter and you're still going to do this with the with the smooth brush tool and start making the areas darker where you know no light is hitting her body. Maybe a little bit here.
then I basically just go through all the blending melts and see whatever looks best. This looks quite good. It's set to multiply. So I think I'm going to erase the stuff from her face though. I'm going to do something different there. Still working on the shadows, making them a little more intense. Maybe we should save the hair for a different layer. Okay, so now I'm going to make another highlight layer. Choose another warm color. Doesn't really matter what it is. And then a um, little bit more yellow and a little bit more white. And then I'm just gonna assume the sun is coming from somewhere up here. something like that and then I'm gonna make the brush wheel big and start making it look like the the sun or the sun rays are bouncing off of her <laughs> 